Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a polar bear. But skiing. Yeah, we're going to draw him snow skiing or her snow skiing. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw our polar bear's nose. We're going to draw a V, a letter V, a really small letter V in the middle of our paper. And then we can connect the top and turn it into a triangle. Then let's color in that shape. Yeah, there you go. You could also add it, make it a little wider if you want. Perfect. Then let's draw the mouth. We're going to draw a line that comes down and then we're going to curve out to the side on the left and then also on the right. There's, there's our bear's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle over here on the left and the same size circle over here on the right. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw a small oval or a circle in the top left of our polar bear's eyes. Oh, I love it. This is for the highlight to make our eyes look shiny. Now let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. I'm going to add eyelashes to my polar bear, but you can leave them off if you want to. Are you drawing a boy? Yes. Okay, <laughs> of course. All right, now let's draw the top of our polar bear's head. We're going to start over here on the left side, and we're going to draw an upside down U that goes over and down. There you go. And then let's draw the ears. I'm going to draw a circle, a part of a circle, or an upside down U shape, and we can draw that same. U shape over here. Let's draw the inside of our polar bear's ears. We'll draw smaller upside down U's inside of the ears. Now we can, let's extend the head down just a little further. Oh, I know what I'm going to add too. I've been doing this drawing for Hadley I'm or Olivia. I'm going to draw a little bow. I'm going to draw an upside down U here. Two lines, diagonal lines that come up like this. And then I'm going to connect them back into the head. Olivia Polar Bear. Yeah, Olivia <laughs> Polar <laughs> You guys can add even more details to your drawings if you want. Now, let's draw this scarf. I'm going to draw a curve that comes across the bottom and connects both sides of the head. Then let's draw the side of the scarf over here. We'll draw the left and then also the right side. And then let's also draw the bottom of our scarf coming across and connecting those two sides together. <laughs> okay, now when you wrap the scarf around, you also leave a little extra hanging down, right? So we can draw two little lines coming down further. Let's connect those at the bottom. Let's add one more. We're going to draw it behind the first one we drew, so the, a small letter L. Yeah, and we can also add the little strings that hang down from the end of the scarf. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw a short line that comes down on each side. Yeah. And then we can draw, let's draw a little curve that comes in just a little bit, not too far. And then let's, yeah, one there and then one on the other side. I like it. And we can draw the legs. We're going to draw two lines. We're going to draw a short line down over here and a short line on the right side. Then we're going to draw two more lines. I'm going to draw one here and one here. This is for the inside of our polar bear's legs. Yeah. We can draw them the same length right in the middle. Yeah. And then we can connect those two with a curve on top. Then let's draw the bottom of our polar bear's feet or legs. We'll draw a little curve that connects both sides. And then let's also add the toes. I'm going to add two little curves on each. What's our polar bear missing? His arms. Yeah, or her arms. Let's draw a curve that comes out, around, and then back in. It looks like a sideways U shape. And then we can do the same thing over here on the right. We'll draw the same U shape, comes around, and then back in. Awesome, our two polar bears look a little different, 
but they're both turning out awesome. Yeah. And it's okay if their drawings look different too, right? Yeah, because the most important thing is to have fun. And to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Now what is our polar bear missing? Skis. Yeah, we're drawing them skiing. Okay, let's first draw one ski on the left side. We're going to draw a line that comes out like this, a diagonal line, and then we're going to curve up at the end. Yes, then we're gonna draw another line that matches, like this line right here, so the same direction. Yes, and then we're gonna curve around like this and connect to the ski. Let's do the same thing on the right side, but we're gonna aim it going the other direction. And then right at the end, let's draw a little curve coming up. And then we'll draw that same line we're gonna match over here, then we're gonna connect this line, we're gonna curve up and connect to the outside. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's draw the back of our skis. So we're gonna imagine this line going behind the leg, coming back like this. We'll draw a little diagonal line. We can draw it on each side. Yes, and then we're gonna connect it right into the leg. That looks super 3D. Now let's draw the ski poles. We're gonna draw a line that comes through the paw and down like that. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna draw a circle like that. Can you make this a little bit longer? Oh yeah, definitely longer. <laughs> there you go. And then inside, we could draw a little X. Let's do the same thing over here on this side. We'll draw a line that comes down through the paws we want it to be the same length as the other side. Then we're gonna draw that circle or oval that matches. And then we'll draw the X on the inside of that circle. We did it, we finished drawing our polar bear skein. But we still need a color. This part we're gonna fast forward. At the end, you could pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we finished coloring our polar bears. I love your drawing so much. Do you think it looks better colored in? Yeah. I think so too. And I hope our art friends are gonna take time to color their drawings. You could also add a background. Oh yeah, you could draw the ski slopes, maybe even the chairlift, taking more polar bears up to the top. Yeah. We used our markers to color our drawings, but you can use whatever you have at home. And polar bears are white, so we didn't really wanna color our polar bears, except we added a blue, little highlight or shadow around our polar bears to make them look 3D. Yeah, more 3D. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your polar bear skiing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.